Well, welcome everybody. My name is John Ting, the Dean of Engineering. Thank you for coming out to this great event. I love the people in the blue shirts and the red shirts. This is a historic event for us. I think this is the first renaming that we've done on campus for maybe forever. And so this is an auspicious event. I'd like to introduce our chancellor who has been so much energy for our campus and part of our renaissance. So, someone that needs no introduction, Chancellor Meehan. Thank you, John. Anybody have any sunscreen? It's really warm here. Um, thank you, John. And I, I think it is actually the, the first. And uh, we're delighted. We're de delighted to have uh, Barry and Janice here. Uh, let me acknowledge um, the former president of the University of Massachusetts system and now a faculty member here at UMass Lowell, uh, Jack, Jack Wilson, right here. Sorry, I missed him. Barry, sometimes they talk to faculty, they don't work that much. Jack, get into the office. He was at the Inn and Conference Center at 8.15 this morning, ready for meetings and... I was here at 7.45. 7.45 he's over here. <laughs> that means he beat the chancellor into work. Um, but it, uh, great to have you here. Great to see all of, uh, all of you here. I want to thank, as I did inside, the students that are wearing the uh, uh, t-shirts uh, for being here. We're excited to have you here. You know, the engineering building was built in 1952 uh, as Chancellor Kenneth Fox plans to, to, to branch out into paper and leather engineering. Uh, later, when paper became part of chemical engineering and leather manufacturing left the campus, the building became known simply as the engineering building. Today, the building is home to chemical and, and mechanical engineering as well as uh, Air Force and Arm, Army ROTC offices. Obviously, the, cha the world is changing. The University of Massachusetts is changing along with it, serving as a leader in higher education. Perry Hall and the Emerging Technologies and Innovation Center building across the street are two real examples of how we're shaping the future at this university. And um, we are delighted to have uh, Barry and Janice here. Let me just say, I, I meant it inside, there aren't as many people here. Um, Lowell is important to both of them. Um, they actually, they're from Dartmouth. I think you guys started, you guys got to know each other very, very early and both uh, came to Lowell. Um, and uh, it was interesting, uh, Janice was uh, once lived over at uh, Allen House and certainly Allen House has changed and uh, Janice got an opportunity to go through it and they were actually married here. I mentioned to our students we're delighted with the significant contribution that the Perry family has made to this university but, uh, but also the fact that when you name a building this way uh, it also puts an alum out front in a way that our students can look and see somebody come, who came from a working class family in Dartmouth. Um, I, I, think his, uh, I think his father was a, a prison guard and worked in textile uh, manufacturing mill. Now your mother worked in a mill uh, and so similar to a lot of our roots. And, um, and they came here. And this institution is very, very important to them, and this city is important to them. And I would suggest that it should be important to all of our students to, to look at uh, what Barry accomplished as a result of his education here uh, in plastics engineering, and to realize that there are no limits to what our students can achieve uh, when they come here. And when you see somebody like uh, Barry in his career, Fortune 500 CEO uh, on major corporate boards across this country, I mean, it's just, uh, it just, it's what UMass Hall is all about. So to our students, not just the students who are here, the students who attend this university, the students that will uh, in the future, um, Barry, you will serve to inspire students and inspire students to, re to, to reach their full potential. And we thank you for that. I'd also mention that faculty members um, who, um, who, who look and see what their work uh, has done in terms of uh, Barry's ability to go out and create economic activity, create products, create wealth for this country and how important, fundamentally important it is in this country. If you don't create wealth, you don't have wealth to, to, to redistribute to anyone. So. Um, uh, so I'm pleased uh, about this for a lot of reasons, and uh, Barry and Janice, thank you so much to the entire Perry family. Thank you very much.